Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Carlick with Flying and Eating. Today, let's go somewhere and do something. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Good morning. Hey guys, it's Adam here. Uh, today, we're going on a brand new adventure uh, to the exciting, exotic city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. <laughs> Um, yes, I am the type of person who lives, I live 90 minutes away via a car, and I'm still gonna fly. Yes, we're at O'Hare right now. Why would I do that? Because as much as, I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who are like, flying's awful, I hate it, I don't like going through security, all that stuff. But I love flying. I hate driving. <laughs> like, I don't mind being in a car, but driving a car is like, I want to hate everything about that process. Like, I do it because I have to. But today I don't have to. There's these things called airports that will take you to these places. It's wonderful. Let them do all the work. 90 minute drive? Hell no. How about five minute flight? <laughs> I probably also should have mentioned like why we're doing this. Uh, I'm gonna be a guest at a convention called Midwest Gaming Classic. So I brought the Sega Pluto. Actually, that's not it, it's behind me. But <laughs> either way, I bought the Sega Pluto prototype. So it's, I've never been to this one. This is actually the biggest uh, video game, retro video game convention I've never been to. The East Coast, the biggest one is Too Many Games. West Coast, it's Portland Retro Game Expo. Midwest is Midwest Gaming Classic. I'm right in my backyard and I've never been, but uh, finally that has changed. They're bringing me out, giving me a table, getting a Pluto, I'll have panels. It'll be a cool, big, fun thing. I'm really looking forward to it. Plus, a bunch of my friends are there, so I'm just excited. All right, we've checked in. It's time to go. Ah, glorious clear lane, how I missed you. We're gonna, you know, go through that and get through security and get right on our way to our gate. Ah, clear, give me money, seriously. All right, made it through security, no problems at all. We are going down to the E-Gates, which is in Terminal 2, and once we get there, we're actually going to go hit the United Club Lounge. Uh, as a reminder, I recently signed up for the United Club card, which gives me infinite free access to that club worldwide, and the Star Alliance ones. Yeah. I'm very excited to continue to use that. Um, but, you know, that's my version of saying going to the club, because I'm very old and white and lame. And here we are at a yet another United Club Lounge. Uh, Chicago has a bunch of them because this is their primary hub. I've never, I don't think I've ever been in this one, but I do see the buffet. All right, we got our little breakfast going here. We got some muffins, uh, egg and cheese biscuit, some pineapple, some granola, some coffee. Good times. Okay, we have arrived at MKE, Milwaukee's airport. Amusingly, I have never been here. I mean, I've been to the city, but I've never been to this airport because there's really no reason to when you live in Chicago, because it's a 20-minute flight. And, and, and the truth is, Milwaukee's not a hub for anybody. It just kind of exists because there has to be an airport here because it's a big city. Um, but all the traffic is basically rerouted to other cities. And every time I ever came up here, we just drove. This time, I'm just, I'm just doing it mostly for you guys, just so you can see footage of the airport and the adventure and all that. Um, but today, what we're going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be waiting for my buddy Kelsey Lewin, who is another YouTuber. She was actually in the Seattle video, if you guys remember that. Um, and you might know her probably from outside of that, because she's a, a big YouTuber. Um, I'm going to wait for her. She's not going to get in until like 1 o'clock or something like that. So we'll explore the airport a little bit and then go find her. People might be wondering, what is Milwaukee known for food-wise? Uh, a lot of it is Germanic in descent, so there's a lot of cheese and sausage and stuff like that, but I'm gonna keep it completely real. It's mostly known for beer, which I don't drink, so we'll see who wants to talk about beer. I showed you guys this in the uh, Madison video, which is actually the first video on the channel, but big deal in uh, Wisconsin is New Glarus beer. I should have also mentioned that unfortunately, because this is such a low demand airport, there is no United Club Lounge, so there's nowhere for me to really hang out other than just the gates. I'm gonna see if I can try to get over to where Kelsey's gonna be landing. She's flying Alaska Air, but I think this is one of those airports where they don't let you terminal hop. So we'll see, because it looks like the exit is right there. So yeah, I just left the secured zone, so I won't be able to meet Kelsey at her gate because it's gonna be over there somewhere. Unfortunately, yes, it is one of those airports where they separate the terminals, which is, God, I hate that. So once you're beyond it, actually, I'm not gonna lie, this is kinda nice. Like, you got this little, like, mall deal going on. You got that clock, which actually kinda reminds me of uh, Macy's clock, or Marshall Fields clock, sorry, in Chicago, which is interesting. Um, yeah, I like this. I like this nice little layout they got going on here. I just wish you could get from terminal to terminal. I don't understand why you separate it like that. That's just stupid. 
But anyway, I think Miller is actually based here. Uh, the Brewers, for example, the baseball team, not surprisingly, kind of originates from there. So as I said before, Milwaukee, it really just goes hand in hand with booze. For a split second, I legit thought this was a half-price book. So the, the books is written in the same font. Uh, but no, this is Renaissance books. Uh, we got a USO thing because you want to join the military. I think that's what they do. Again, Miller. They own that. M more street stuff. I, w I will admit, and this is not surprising, this is a far superior airport to that of Madison, Wisconsin. Um, and that makes sense because this is the biggest city in Wisconsin. Uh, but yeah, no, I I've never been to Green Bay, but I would assume that that's probably a small airport. This is kind of cool. They have a uh, Mitchell Gallery of Flight. They got like Milwaukee in space. It's like a little museum thing that's going on here. Bunch of the history of aviation, bunch of little models, planes and stuff like that. Home of the brave. Look at that. That's actually pretty cool. I don't know if I'm allowed to film in there, so I'll just do it from out here. But a bunch of just little uh, aircraft models and stuff like that. That's pretty neat. They have more of that out there with a whole bunch of aircraft that either are not flown or even airlines that don't exist anymore, like Northwest Airlines or uh, American when they would fly those DCs. Um, obviously the older prop planes you don't use anymore. TWA, go, go United. But thankfully if you're not still using prop planes, woof. Though that's cool, the uh, the supersonic jet, which of course the British Airways ones, they're not doing anymore. But United's actually bringing back supersonic jets, but not for like another six years or something like that. Imagine flying one of those from like San Francisco to Japan in like four hours. Awesome. Well, this didn't take long. We got the cheese curds, of course. Spicy ranch flavored. Uh, garlic and dill, I might get this. American cheese, and then we got a little combo bag of mozzarella. I think that's what one this is, mozzarella and cheddar. And then you have cheese wheels. You know, sometimes it's good to just step right into the stereotype. Look at that, <laughs> red wine, white cheddar cheese. Dude, Wisconsin, I mean, I know, I know you guys are known for this, but you ain't playing yellow cheddar cheese with tomato basil. That actually sounds awesome. But maybe we'll have to get some of this stuff on the way out because I'm not going to just sit here and eat a bunch of like five pounds of cheese. I went with the garlic and dill. We're going to go ahead and try this out. Rob Thanos, if you're out there, <laughs> I'm making you jealous. I know it. The ones I had in Madison were better. Like, I think the cheese itself is better, but the flavoring is kind of bland. As opposed to the ones in, in, from Madison where the cheese wasn't quite as good, but the flavoring was stronger. She arrived. All right. Now, what's our plan? We're going to go get a rental car or something? We're going to get a rental car. Yeah, I, I'm just going to admit, I'm, I'm basically bumming a ride off of her. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Oh, it's fine. She doesn't care. She doesn't care. She's cool. Check out the hotel the con put us all in. This is swanky. I feel like they're trying to rip you guys off with that sign. <laughs> that looks so much like Pike Place. That's the same looking sign for every public place. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I don't think I've seen one that's so blatant. <laughs> so Riggs is with us now. You guys remember Riggs from the Sacramento episode? Hi. Or like, more likely from his own personal successes? <laughs> Kelsey's still back there. We're going to Cafe what? Ben, Benelux? Benelux? I don't know how you pronounce it. Cafe, cafe French. Cafe French. That's where we're going. If there's awning, it's a cafe. That's, there you go. That's usually how it works. And if it's Benelux, it's not English. We've got clogs everywhere. So the theory is it's actually Dutch, not French. We got official confirmation. It's Dutch, but inspired by Belgium as well as okay. Luxembourg. Right, but no waffles. I asked about street waffles. No street waffles. No street waffles. It's, no like, street waffles. it's like the iconic Dutch yeah. dessert. And they don't do it. They used to, apparently. Douglas would not be here. He would have marked yeah, right out. But we're going to have, I'm assuming you guys are going to have like a Belgian beer or something. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, well, I know I won't, but we'll when find something. When in Belgium? Belgium? I don't know. Be Be Belgeria? You're, just gonna, you're not going to. I'm just out. waiting for you to come up with something to get out of this. Bel Belgite? What are they gonna, I don't know. Get I'm some, looking forward to something. Get some uh, Belgides. <laughs> All right, Riggs got a beer, because we are in a beer town. We're like the beer town. What do you got here? This is as a Hollander IPA. I'm an IPA guy. I'm an IPA guy from the Northwest. But it has that Belgian twist to it. It's the uh, America's Citra Hops meets Belgian yeast. So I guess there's a little bit of a cross-culture or something or other. Makes sense. It's it's a little... The glass is a little bit too fancy for me. I'm not used to this. I need, I, I prefer my high-quality IPA in a Yahtzee dice chain <laughs> if I have the option. Uh, I <laughs> guess give me something here. This is mostly head here, so I'm gonna get it all over my face. I, I there's no easy way. I just just want to blow it off here. Yeah, right. <laughs> I wish you drank, cause that's really good. 
Sorry to maybe, maybe I'm glad you don't drink. <laughs> don't drink, actually. <laughs> Very good. I'm very do you, tasty. Do you drink? Do you, you just got. Well, how's your. What'd you get? A Coca Cola. Uh, this is, that is a, a Diet Coke. Is that local? A specialty I've never of heard the, of that. Of the area. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does it taste diety or. Yeah, it's got kind of like a. Like a carbonation y thing going on with it. That's cool. Really yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Mine, my, my water is a little flat. What'd you get? Salmon. Anything else about it? I, I don't know. You have salmon in the Northwest, right? Sumac right, yeah. salmon, I think is, is what it's Isn't that, isn't that what Seattle's kind of known for? Yeah, is the salmon? I just really like salmon. Well, you, not as fine. This cake looks ridiculous. You know, I wasn't planning on getting food until I saw that they had a carrot cake with the shavings and the caramel and the whatever, and I was like, you know what? I, I have a little <laughs> something to snack on. I like it. While I'm uh, drinking my beer. So far, this is mine. All right, my food has arrived. I got some sort of cheese bread thing. Pull apart. I pull apart, right? Okay, and I don't know if those are peppers or he thinks they're cherry tomatoes. And then asked me if there's like, yeah, go for it, go for it, Kelsey, tell us. But she breathes fire. Whatever it is, it's delicious. It's like a pickled pepper, but with a sort of yeah. It's like a, a pickled, pickled pepper. pepper? Well, now I gotta try it. Does Peter eat these? Yeah. I think it's the red slime from right. uh, Dragon Quest. All right, go ahead and eat the pickled pepper. You know, Peter Piper. Pick these pickled peppers just for Pally Wally. I knew somebody would do the routine correctly and it wasn't going to be me. I appreciate that. <laughs> it is fantastic. Okay, so as he said, it's pull apart bread. And it looks like it's got some sort of garlicky butter in the center, yeah, and you just kind of do this move and go for it. I'm excited. It's How? really, really saturated. I mean, you can see it like when you, once yeah. you hold it apart yep. on the inner circle there, on the inside of a Pac Man's lip there, you can see it like the butter garlic kind of saturating inside the bread and all that. Yep. It looks super good. I'm excited. How's your cake? Dude, it's so good. I know you wouldn't think I don't. I mean, I, I just ate. I, I literally just ate a couple mm -hmm. hours ago, so I was like, I don't want to get food, food. But it's like, but cake food isn't real food. It's awesome. It's, it's a it's, loophole. It's a little snack, a little, yeah. little snackage until uh, dinner rolls around, and then for dinner we'll go big. We'll get real, go bigger, go home. That's right. And what about your fish? It's really good. It's it's uh, it's like salmon. It's got like a kind of yogurt. Oh, yogurt sauce thing. and like a white, yeah. a yellow rice. Yeah, looks like good. A pilaf. Yeah, nice. Love it. I like my food. You know, it was this, the, the bread was good. Uh, they're right about those little. They weren't tomatoes. I don't know what those things really were. I don't think they were peppers because I would have like thrown that right up. But well, there's all kinds of peppers. They're not to be like spicy. I guess it's was it literally true. like listed on the ingredients? I did not read it. I just oh, saw cheese bread so and I was done. <laughs> then where's the surprise? No, um, it, it was good though. I, I, yeah, uh, if you want a little appetizer thing. Like some cheese, garlic bread. It was it was very unique. Like I said, especially with those pepper things. He's like, never had that. All right, so we just left that place, uh, which is part of the Milwaukee Public Market, which again I think is a total ripoff of your guys' market in Seattle. Public place, Pike Place Market, the far the Alpha Market. I'm sorry, they get. You can all share. I'm not saying you can't share, but they totally ripped you off. They used the same. Thank you. They used the same font. That's my issue. It's okay. Yeah, so you, you, well, I'm not from here either, and I'm not from there. I just pick a side based on the reality of the situation. Yeah. Yeah, well, this place has uh, cocktails, this, beer, soda. This place has lots and lots of beer. All right, inside the market, which admittedly is very different from Pike Place, because Pike Place smells like fish throughout the entire thing. It, <laughs> there's a reason for that. But you got the same kind of, like, kitschy thing going on with a lot of indie restaurants and bars and things like that. I would actually kind of say this is like an updated version of Pike Place, to be totally honest. Yeah, see, Cansies and uh, Cansies, Candies and Fancies. There you go. Get a, get yourself a chocolate rooster. You gonna get a chocolate rooster? I'm gonna put a chocolate cock in my mouth. <laughs> Perfect. John seems pretty happy about this section. I I I feel okay, but this feels very happy to see this section right here. <laughs> Little, little baby key lime pies and everything. I have a huge key lime pie. Dude, we gotta go down to Miami then. Let's go. Alright, we're on our way. Okay, obviously they're known for the cheese, but maybe it's gone too far. I'm just saying maybe it's gone too far. You can get cheese and cow shapes. Yeah, oh yeah, and state shapes. They got Wisconsin. Yeah. That's fun. But this, guys, really, really, Kelly, are you doing this to the world? Do we really need chocolate cheese? I just, just, what are you doing? I don't want chocolate cheese, but chocolate and cheese together. Boom! Chocolate cheese. It's chocolate cheese. 
You've got more cheese curds, many different types of flavors, and we've got something I've never seen before, cheese whips. Gotta admit, I'm impressed. Uh, that's pretty intense. I mean, that's a lot of chocolate. $70 worth with jelly beans. Scared? Yeah, I'm gonna get beaties if I get that. So Jason just joined us as he's criticizing us for <laughs> for the, the weather. It's so yeah, cold in the Midwest. It's here than Seattle, and that's saying something. It, it's, it, you get used to it, you really do. But to be fair, this isn't my town. I'm like 90 minutes south. Okay, you're, but you're Chicago. Chicago. But I, so I don't own this, but sort of my fault anyway. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, you go enjoy wandering around this. I think this is the Pike Place ripoff market. The, no, dude, the font is the same. Where is the font? Go outside of the building, look at the. It? It's the exact same font. Maybe they were all established at the same time. It's kind of like a no, I'm giving you guys credit for the real market. Yep. All right. <laughs> Would you like ice cream cones? Would I like one? Yeah, I, I bought I bought a plate just to make ice cream. Oh, then yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, which like what Jason? Nothing. I need I need espresso. Like I need. So John wanted ice cream, but they would only sell it to him in a pint. They wouldn't sell it in a cone, so he had to buy a whole pint. And then they just like, do you? What do you want to do with it? We'll throw it in more cones. So Kelsey and I each got cones of blue. Like yes, cones of what do we get? We got blue moon. Blue moon. What does it taste like? like there's some almond bee, there's some like raspberry, some like kind of, I don't know, you said it's normally a little bit more fruity pebbles -y or Yeah, this might be their own take on it. Yeah, okay. it's good. It's good. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I call it blue raspberry, honestly. Mm. Kind yeah, of. It, with, with the almond extract, it's like traditionally blue moon's a little bit more of a pale color, yeah. and then it's it's like the marshmallow bean. It's like the milk after fruity pebbles. Okay. And that's blue moon ice cream, and it's hyper specific to a Wisconsin. You so. you wouldn't know cereal. You'll, you'll find, it, it, it's on the um, it's on the convention floor at Midwest Gaming Classic. There was there's a booth there. Oh, okay. So, so we'll have that, it again. That and Superman. All right, then you'll probably see that again. Yeah. I haven't had, I haven't had Superman ice cream in like a decade. Yeah. Oh, my. So John just found something kind of interesting. What'd you find, John? Well, it reminds you of home. Yeah, I'm very homesick. I haven't been there in nearly a few hours. <laughs> what the hell I'm not is even that? Sure what it's supposed to taste like? Just tomato yeah. and basil? I, yeah. I guess. I don't know. I'm a little, I'm a little curious to try it. It's, uh, it's, it's Parmesan with a yeah, paprika they, spice. They, they, they can push you back to the Chicago deep dish and what actually what? Means. Well, it's, it's inspired by Chicago deep dish pizza. You can put it on whatever meats you like to make on your own pizza. So if you, you make go. your own sausage, pork sausage, a ground pork and ground beef, you can season it that way. I like to use it in the crust. I make my own crust, but every recipe I find is just not well seasoned. So I usually put it in the crust. You can put it in your homemade sauce or even the sausage you buy at the store. There's like a wide variety of things. Um, my coworker said you could put it on garlic bread to give it a nice uh, pizza flavor. Garlic bread might be a good idea. Right. I think now you're committed. Yeah, you gotta I, do I it. Think it. I think she it's all. I think it's all about the Chicago deep dish. Yeah, she she sold you. Full challenge. Yeah. I mean, if you don't okay, pop the whole thing in your mouth, <laughs> and can you hold it there? So Riggs figured this out. This is. Uh, I'm giving him credit for this, but he said this is a Resident Evil puzzle. You got alliance as but, not, and then you have to put it all together, and then and then the street sign will go from red to green, and out of this will pop out the magic gem. And then you will not be forgotten. We have to rotate, <laughs> we have to, we have to rotate this staircase. Uh, yeah. Because this staircase doesn't go anywhere. So yeah. we have to rotate it and then push it into this. Yeah, staircase. it has to slide in. And then eventually the, one of these will go down. The two will get bigger. <laughs> yep, this is uh, Resident Evil Square. This is obviously a big, famous part of Milwaukee. That's right. So we're starting to enter the little German district. Not surprisingly, that's like half of what Milwaukee even is. <laughs> and uh, you see some bridges and some... Like, the one of the two buildings they have. It's nice. So everybody kind of wanted German food, so we're going to this. This is Milwaukee Brat House. I'm trying to find this other German restaurant, but I don't know exactly where it is. Maybe we'll find that at some point, but in the meantime, this will totally suffice. Wisconsin cheese curds. Sold. Deep fried. That's what's happening. Cheers. <laughs> so they serve in half pints, so they each got two beers of what they are. So, do you remember what you ordered? Uh, this is the this is the Lakefront IPA. Okay. So I'm an IPA. Mine's a Lakefront Pilsner. Okay. Mine's dark. It's dark dunkle. something. It's yeah. Yeah. Dunkle. 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 Yeah. How's yours? I know you said you drank German. some. What? How is it? It's good. It's German. Yeah. Not a huge beer drinker, but it's gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't drink, so I, I always like to cover this when people actually watch this stuff and say like, oh yeah, that's good. Was that good? Yeah. Very good. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, this. So they're all happy with their German beers. And look, as soon as I'm done with this one, I already got one waiting for Perfect. Me. <laughs> it's almost like Germany's known for beer. <laughs> you know? 
So I got cheese curds here. You guys have to try these deep fried cheese yep. curds. Very much a Wisconsin thing. You got the sausage sampler. Sampler, right on. Various sausages. And as advertised, the biggest pretzel you've ever seen. Compared to my fist. Look at that. That's that's impressive. <laughs> Look at, oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's like just, that was like a weird Power Rangers thing you guys all just did there. Anyway, everybody go ahead and enjoy. The market hall, and look, a giant stack of coolers. I probably should have said that the food was good. We had a good time with our food. Yes, everybody seemed happy with the yeah, German food. Yeah. yeah, it was good. I, I would say go ahead and do it if you want German bar food. Good morning, it is day two here in Milwaukee. I'm back with John, as well as we've got Steve here. And uh, we're gonna go out and uh, we're hitting some breakfast. What are we doing? Uh, this place is called, we keep calling it Build-A-Bear. It's Build-A-Breakfast. I was here last time, the food is phenomenal. I'm a huge fan of it. It's like gimmicky stuff that you're not even gonna find at IHOP. And I'm trying to get a hold of Jason right now. You do that. You know, I, I'm, the, 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 I'm torn between two pancakes based on what I saw. Hear me out on this. Peanut butter and jelly pancakes. So it's like three pancakes and in between is just layers of peanut butter and jelly. But then there's also something called the floating pancake. And in between layers of that is like hash browns and bacon and like eggs. But I know, but it's all like together. Do you have any words of wisdom for what I should do here? One for each day, buddy. We were here all weekend. That's kind of a good point. <laughs> like, he's got a, he's got a good point. I see why you hang with this guy. <laughs> he thinks things through. All right, our food has arrived. Three of us went with the PB and J. Let's do it again. Yeah, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna put the real maple syrup on because they offer that. Because I, the hell with Aunt Jemima. And uh, I also got the <laughs> chorizo, the chorizo hash side. Cheers. Real maple syrup. Woo. We're Canadian now. Okay. Look at that. Peanut butter and jelly and pancakes. Block exception. Oh. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. I so can film too. We're going to be on Coralix. Coralix is going to be on ours. That's right. Yeah. So you see the peanut butter layer there, and that looks like the jelly layer right there by the fork? How is it? Yeah, that's, oh, it's so good. Jelly. Oh, yeah, there you go. Peanut yeah. butter. All right, I'm glad you're happy with that. Alternatively, you can get French toast. We have a few different styles. And that was my phone case. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with my food. Is everybody happy with their food? Are you happy? Oh yeah, I'm now, very happy. You ended up going with the high fructose corn syrup bullshit. Right? I did, and it was delicious. Way better than the real stuff. Anyway, we went, <laughs> we went with the real one. The real one. Real one. I opted for the real one as well. Yeah. No, I can't show him anymore because he has the <laughs> no. He has the fake one. We don't endorse that here. Hey, this I is high quality food. I took a shot of the real one. Did you? <laughs> no, good call. Yeah. Yeah. He might. He might. He's, 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 he's here in the shot back on the foot there, of that in the camera. Go. There you go. So we're out and about now after food. We've all kind of regrouped. Jason's back with us. And we're all gonna go ahead and do Milwaukee things. And there's nothing more in Milwaukee than going to check out the Fonz, the Bronze Fonz as it's known. The Bronze Fonz statue is like Milwaukee's thing. Hey look, we can film each other. <laughs> so in Wisconsin they have water. This is not something you see much of where you're from. No, where I'm there's from, a drought. All I see is water. You live in a drought state, so there's no water there. Next Everybody to knows. The Pacific Ocean. Th yeah, but that doesn't count because it's that's salt water. <laughs> You've never seen water before. Milwaukee has a lot of stuff like this where you're like, is this good or do I, is it stupid? I don't know. There's a lot of stuff like that. That's why we're going to the fines because we all understand that one. It seems kind of short, but maybe that is. There it is. Hey. Here we go, we've made it to the Fonzie statue, and I was just telling them, A, of course, the real jacket of this is in the Smithsonian, D.C., like near the Bill of Rights. Why? I mean, the Simpsons made a joke out of that once, but that's a real thing. America. So we are now at Doc's Smokehouse. Uh, Jason wanted food, and I'm being told we have this special root beer that's on tap. That's a special. So I, I'm just going for that, because we, ate, the rest of us ate breakfast like an hour ago, or whatever it was. We've got the sauces lined up. Texas Heat Spicy, Carolina Vinegar, uh, which is the style down there. Tangy out of Memphis. This is their home one. What the hell is this? Um, you made a horrible but correct joke about that. <laughs> well, I won't repeat it, but I'm sure a lot of you can put it together. This is actually like tartar sauce. I would not want this on my, on my barbecue. I tried it. The root beer has arrived. This is Sprecher. This is like a Midwest thing, although they have it on tap here, which is interesting. So it's probably a little different. And I've got my fancy water. All right, they got their burnt ends. Pickles, gross, get that out of there, that's not food. And they, they did a little spread, like, sampler of all these, except for the white one, because somebody is, uh, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm just, yep, yeah, okay, he said it. <laughs> and uh, go, 
Go ahead. Try the burnt ends. Okay, let's see here. Do you know anything about Do you know anything about burnt ends? Uh, I know they're at the end and they're burnt. Well, they were at one time like the junk part of the animal that everyone was like, you don't eat that crap. And then this one restaurant called Jack Stack was like, we need to add something to the menu. We have tons of this. Let's try and like turn it into something. And then it ended up becoming like this really popular thing. Okay, so the, the sweet original, that one's pretty good. Okay. Okay, let's see. How is... Aren't you worried that those pickles are touching your food? You mean like this? Yeah, isn't that this? Yeah, why would you do that? Oh! He ate it on purpose. Oh. Memphis. The Memphis is nice. Okay. All right, what do we got next? Carolina, Carolina vinegar. vinegar. It is very runny. Let's see. Well, here. it's a vinegar. The flavor is there, but it's very vinegary. Definitely. Okay. And next we got the spicy. Spicy right Texas. It is thick with many C's. All right. Very peppery. Okay, so which one would you go with? The Memphis. Memphis. All right. That one right there. Memphis is the winner. There you go. And that'll do it for part one. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned to part two where we will be going through more parts of Milwaukee, looking at more touristy stuff, of course, eating a bunch of German food, and oh yeah, actually going to the convention that I was talking about. So thanks as always. Please like, comment, subscribe, check out all the social media stuff in the description, and I'll see you all later.